The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple. And yet, everybody rushes around in a great panic as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. Philosophers often fail to recognize that their remarks about the universe apply also to themselves and their remarks. If the universe is meaningless, so is the statement that it is so. I have realized that the past and future are real illusions, that they exist in the present, which is what there is and all there is. This is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. No valid plans for the future can be made by those who have no capacity for living now. I'll tell you what hermits realize. If you go off into a far, far forest and get very quiet, you'll come to understand that you're connected with everything. If you say that getting money is the most important thing, you'll spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living. That is, to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. We are living in a culture entirely hypnotized by the illusion of time, in which the so-called present moment is felt as nothing but an infinitesimal hairline between an all-powerfully causative past and an absorbingly important future. We have no present. Our consciousness is almost completely preoccupied with memory and expectation. We do not realize that there never was, is, nor will be any other experience than present experience. We are therefore out of touch with reality. We confuse the world as talked about, described, and measured with the world which actually is. We are sick with a fascination for the useful tools of names and numbers, of symbols, signs, conceptions, and ideas. We must abandon completely the notion of blaming the past for any kind of situation we're in and reverse our thinking and see that the past always flows back from the present. That now is the creative point of life. So you see, it's like the idea of forgiving somebody. You change the meaning of the past by doing that. Also, watch the flow of music. The melody as it's expressed is changed by notes that come later. Just as the meaning of a sentence. You wait till later to find out what the sentence means. The present is always changing the past. There is only this now. It does not come from anywhere. It is not going anywhere. It is not permanent, but it is not impermanent. Though moving, it is always still. When we try to catch it, it seems to run away. And yet it is always here, and there is no escape from it. And when we turn around to find the self which knows this moment, we find that it has vanished like the past. Through the eyes, the universe is perceiving itself. Through the ears, the universe is listening to its harmonies. We are the witnesses through which the universe becomes conscious of its glory, of its magnificence. Things are as they are. Looking out into the universe at night, we make no comparisons between right and wrong stars nor between well and badly arranged constellations. We do not come into this world. We come out of it, as leaves from a tree. As the ocean waves, the universe peoples. 
Every individual is an expression of the whole realm of nature, a unique action of the total universe. A man does not really begin to be alive until he has lost himself, until he has released the anxious grasp which he normally holds upon his life, his property, his reputation, and position. Try to imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Now try to imagine what it was like to wake up having never gone to sleep. We are merely bolting our lives, gulping down undigested experiences as fast as we can stuff them in. Because awareness of our own existence is so superficial, so narrow, that nothing seems to us more boring than simple being. If I ask you what you did yesterday, I'm likely to get nothing more than a thin, sketchy outline of the few things that you noticed, and of those, only what you thought worth remembering. But suppose you could answer, it would take me forever to tell you, and I'm much too interested in what's happening now. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream that you wanted to dream, and that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time, or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would Naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great, but now let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control, where something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. <laughs> 